What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Raven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Y2 walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, uh, we kind of, like, you know, uh, deviated from a whole bunch of stuff. Not too really important. You know, it is what it is. But anywho, here we are in Nimbaza City, and, well, we're going to be checking out a few things. And just like that, the door opens, and, oh my... You got a VS recorder. If you have a VS recorder, you can record battles with friends or in Battle Subway. But only the strongest can enter the Battle Institute. So if you beat the champion, come back. You'll be invited to battle uh, into the Battle Institute. So yeah, we can't go in there. <laughs> go figure. Never mind. Okay, so let's see. Nimbasa City, home of uh, another gym. Uh, maybe we can find some uh, different stuff. And well. A few years ago, Nimbasa's glitz and glamour was pleasant, but recently it's too much for me. Maybe I should go relax in the country. My Pokemon might find that more comfortable as well. It is true. And... Uh, oh wait, hold on just a sec. I hear that some po uh, some people's Pokemon were stolen by Team Plasma. And they still haven't been reunited. Okay, so that's true. Team Plasma two years ago... Yeah, Team Plasma two years ago stole a lot of Pokemon. and. Well, that seems to be the basis of this whole story right here, you know, trying to find some Pokemon that, you know, were stolen two years back. And, well, let's see, I'm trying to look for stuff, and, well, this lady right here, she's like, uh, your Magmite seems to like you. That's nice to see. It makes me want to give you this. And she gives us the Soothe Bell, which will actually help our Pokemon evolve uh, through friendship and all that stuff. Now, I did do something off screen. I don't know if many of you guys will actually like it, I don't know, but I kind of did it for the the betterment of the team. So take a look at this guys, we have taken America back into the PC and we brought back Gigalith, as you guys remember, we had Gigalith in Pokemon Black and it does, or Sigalith, yeah, Sigalith or Gig, yeah, we call it Gigalith, what the heck are we talking about? But. Gigalith right here, Psychic and Flying type Pokemon, does have some pretty good stuff uh, to offer to the team right here. On top of that, it does have the Wonder Skin ability, makes the status changing moves more likely to miss, which is great because, well, you know me, I am prone to paralysis. It gets annoying, very, very, well, it gets very annoying, and, well, Shiny Crocorock, wow, those colors blew, uh, blew my mind. And, well, I hear Pokemon that uh, look like they're gleaming when they come out of the grass, they're called Shiny Pokemon. Huh. And this is a Shiny Crocorock, which, you know, wish we could have gotten, or I don't even know, and, uh, let's see, if I... If I compare the glow of Nimbasa to something, it would be the sun. Yes, the sun. It inspires me to give you this. We get ourselves a sunstone. And that is actually a very good uh, item to actually evolve a pet a little with. And, well, let's see. There's nothing much that we can actually grab right here. So let's go right ahead and move on to the next thing. Let's see. What else can we find in, in, uh, find in Nimbasa? And that is the stadiums right here, guys. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to actually... Battle a few trainers into the Pokemon stadiums right here, believe it or not. And we're going to go in uh, the little teleportation pad right here. And look at that. We are playing some basketball, obviously. I liked basketball back when I was like in, in elementary school, but <laughs> it was never uh, too friendly with me in my height and all that stuff. So we're going to start off with Budkiss and see how many Pokemon trainers we actually battle. I'm still a rookie, but someday I will be a great player. I'll improve by having a lot of Pokemon battles. You know, if basketball were like that in real life, that that would be hilarious. So here we have Hoopster Bobby, and well, he's coming out with a World Beat at level 26. As you can see, guys, my Pokemon are a little bit under level, mainly because well, you know, I've been uh, focused on other stuff like my marathon and all that stuff. But before we battle the next gym leader, yes, good old Draven. We'll have his Pokemon trained up, ready to go and all that crud. There are a lot of Pokemon that we can actually battle right here, but look at this. Budkiss hitting with a pretty good attack right there. But the big problem right now that Whirlipede has a steel a steel uh, shell or whatever. Not a steel shell, but you know, iron defense. And there we go. We're hitting it with super effective moves. Whirlipede does have some pretty good moves right here with the protect, but... Let's go right ahead and continue this, Poison Steel, and here we go. And we are not going to give up on Budkiss just yet, so I'm thinking that there's going to be... Let's see. Not that. Let's go with the HP. We got a few red, fresh uh, waters right here, so let's go ahead and give this to Budkiss. 
And let's see what, uh, yeah. Whirlipede is gonna hit us with the same move every single time, and good gravy! Alright, so let's go with Magneto. It won't be affected by any kind of poison type move, so we're gonna be good right here. Protect. It's gonna lower the. Or it's gonna. Yes, there we go. Let's see, we gotta battle smarter, not harder. And right now, I just battle. I, I just battled harder. And after defeating this guy, he's gonna give us a potion, which is great. And. Well, that's gonna be good right there, so let's see. I do remember a little something right here from our last episode, and that is that we actually got ourselves a Fire Stone, so I can actually evolve my uh, my my Growlithe right now if I wanted to, it's just, part of me just says, ah, we gotta wait for that for a little bit later on right here. So let's go ahead and revive Buckus, and give it a little bit of a Super Potion right here, and well, let's go right ahead and move on to the next one, hopefully, hopefully the next person doesn't flop like LeBron. Let's go straight to Gigalith right here, see what it could do. And right here. The amount of you sweat is good indicator of how youthful you are. Oh, is that so? Okay. Alrighty, so here we go, taking on Hoopster John, and we're gonna be pressing that button again. Taking on a Herdier, and well, as many of you guys already know, Herdier is a pretty intense Pokemon when you battle it. There we go, and it is confused, and wow, Crunch Attack nearly defeats us right there, so we're going to have to actually switch out our Pokemon right here to Sigh of the Torrent, and well, it's confused, hurting itself, and well, let's go with a Revenge, Takedown Attack hits us, but here comes the Revenge Attack, super effective, and well, look at that, we get a little bit more, and well, Rock and Roll is going to be coming out, let's go with Razor Shell, and yes, I did teach Sigh a Dig Attack just for this well, for the next battle right here, and well, as you can see, it's not the most accurate attack right here, so there we go. And just like that, we defeated another another basketball player. Will he give us something? Yes, he will. Lots of potions, to be quite honest. Lots of potions, so let's see. Uh, I think we should actually heal our Pokemon. Like I said, guys, we, we, we are going to actually uh, train our Pokemon up before this next gym battle right here. And, well... Just go ahead and use up all the potions, and well, let's go right ahead and battle this guy, I guess. Hey there! Think you can overcome my trick dribbling style? No, because uh, I once was good at basketball, but I stopped playing it for a long, 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 long time because uh, it's not short people friendly, it really, is it? And well, let's see. Let's go with a side beam attack, and there we go. Let's go, Gigalif. Earn your keep. Come on. And just like that, we get defeated by Swadloon, which is annoying. So let's go with Bud Kiss. And let's go with that Flame Wheel right here. You gotta love the, the level up Pokemon right now. And just like that, Bud Kiss grows to level 21 and is learning Fire Fang. So let's go ahead and switch it out to Remember. And Desert Storm is learning some moves right here. So already my Pokemon are right there. And well, let's see. Sand Tune, Mud Slap, Bulldoze. <sighs> let's see. Let's go with Sand Tomb. It's not my it's not my favorite move in the world, but here we go. Give it that and well we're gonna be switching out our Pokemon right here. Let's go with Sigh of the Torrent yet again. And the funny thing is that we are well my most strongest Pokemon is is a water type Pokemon. Will not have any kind of a it will not it actually won't fare well with it with this next gym since it's an electric type Pokemon right here. So yes, here we go. We get ourselves another potion and well, he loves his basketball. Let's go right ahead and see if we can actually battle another person. And yes, he won't battle against us, but let's see what this guy does. Stop running around. There we go. <laughs> let's see. So I don't play basketball just because I'm tall. Maybe I grew tall because I wanted to play basketball so badly. That does not make any sense. It really, uh, it really doesn't. Okay. Let's move on. And let's find out about, let's go to the next stadium. Let's go to the next stadium right here. And let's go right ahead and see what kind of sports we can actually find. On top of that, let's we're going to be healing up our Pokemon afterwards too. So let's go right here. This looks like football. If it's football, it would be great. Is it? And it is! Holy crap, it's football! This is my favorite place in the whole world. Oh, look at this! Streaker! Streaker, look at that. 
as many of you guys already know, I love my football. So, we're going to be taking on some football players right here. Let's go right in and uh, heal up our Pokemon because uh, that would be that would be very useful for our Pokemon. And, well, let's see. Let's go ahead and revive our next one. Let's give uh, Gigalith the revive that it needs. You know, it almost makes me want to, like, get America back because, well, kind of uh, lowers our, our leveling up a little bit right there. And, well, let's go ahead and battle this guy right here. Power! Power is essential for both Pokemon and football. It is. It really is. And, well, linebacker Dan doesn't really look like a linebacker. That's not really a linebacker stance. So, yeah, I don't know about that. So, let's go right ahead and take on the Darumaka. And, well, we're kind of a... Kind of a put in a quarter right here because well Darumaka is small, it is very feisty when it comes to his attack, and that right there hurts it. We need to switch up our Pokemon now because it just used work of attack, and that right there is going to hurt us pretty well. So let's go ahead and switch the side of the torrent. Here comes a fire punch, not so effective. And let's go with this razor shell just to finish off Darumaka, and well. Go right ahead. Here comes Timber. Let's go ahead and go back to Gigalith. All right, Gigalith, don't fail me now. Let's go straight for a side beam attack right here. And Timber is not falling, except for now. And yes, we have defeated a linebacker on a D or a defensive uh, a defensive lineman stance right there. Or you could go straight for a long offensive lineman. Doesn't really matter. But here we go. Let's go, kids. Cooperate with the Pokemon. Okay, so here we go, another linebacker. We're taking on Bob. Bob, not so much the builder, and well, let's go with Gigalith. Psywave. This one will actually hurt it. Here comes a rock throw attack, so we should straight up go for the side beam attack right there. And let's continue on. Gigalith is gonna get some experience points right here, just uh, just based off of one good attack. So there we go. And say hello to the level 20s. Linebacker Bob has been defeated. Okay, and yes, we're gonna be getting ourselves some potions right here, too Okay, so that is that And let's go right ahead and grab ourselves a Super potion again because yeah, we kind of need to kill up our Pokemon Yeah, we got Pokemon that are strong, but not that strong just yet And well, let's talk to this lost linebacker. I, 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 I'm not a chumbo, am I? Kind of are, man Alrighty, so here we go, taking on another linebacker. His name is Jonah, and he's coming out with a Dweeble, and this is going to be a little difficult right here, because we do not have a flying-type attack, the actual good flying-type attack. And here comes that rock polish. It will actually increase its speed, and bam, we are getting smacked down, and yeah, before we, anything can happen, we... <laughs> We defeat this guy, and yes, uh, Desert Storm has grown to level 26, and we get ourselves the potion again. I'm not putting myself down. Big and strong is what I'm saying. I'm not chubby. I'm just big and strong. Hmm. True. Very, very true. Okay, so let us move on right here and, 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 and see what else we can actually find in this town. So, Mbasa City. Very, very good-looking town, and as you can see right here, this is the musical theater where you can actually do some musical theater stuff. Definitely won't be visiting that place. And, well, let's see. Another key place that you can actually look for is the gym and the, uh, what was it called? Um, the roller, or not the roller coaster, but the, uh, whatchamacallit, this thing right here. Uh, the Ferris wheel, yes. So, let's see. If you talk to the only man that's ever believed in you, oh, are you a challenger, perhaps? I'm very sorry. The gym leader is uh, out right now. I know. I know where she went, though. She should be in the building where you ride the roller coaster. It's by the entrance uh, to the amusement park. Great. Awesome. The old gym. Now, before we do anything, let's go ahead and grab some items. Here we found ourselves a paralysis heal, which will actually help us. Yes. Because, you know, good old Draven likes to get paralyzed a lot when he's battling. And, uh, well, there might be something right here. Let's see. There's something uh, that we actually have to find around here, and that is going to be right around here. And here we found ourselves another cross transceiver, a dropped item. And just like that, it starts ringing. Let's see what this is all about. Uh, hello? Yes, that's right. 
I'm the owner of the crosshead receiver. I'm using the old crosshead receiver right now, so it's only it's audio only. Sorry. Thank you for finding it. Truth is, I want to come pick it up right away, but right now I'm very busy with work and I'm not in a place where I can stop and get come get it. If you don't mind, could you hang on to it for a little bit? Dot dot dot. Really? You don't mind? Thank you so much. Uh, my name is Na Na er, so, Sorry, Yancey. And you are Draven. Okay, when work calms down, I'll come pick it up. So please take care of it for me. Also, I'm sure you'll want to keep in touch until I can uh, pick up my cross transceiver, so I'll call your cross transceiver often. My, bye then, thanks again. Hmm, okay, so we're, we're still being everybody's little errand boy right here, and well, before we go into the amusement park right there, because that used to be the gym, let's go right ahead and heal up our Pokemon again, because well, I smell battles. Lots and lots of battles right here, and well, let's see, if we talk to this lady... The wind has uh, become colder, and I wonder uh, if the doctor will be upset for me being out too long. Huh, who are you? Do you want to battle, perhaps? Yes, okay! You're a funny one, wanting to battle an old lady like me. <laughs> but it's nice of you to invite me. Okay, let's have a good battle. Okay, so here it is, guys, another Pokemon battle, and we're going to be taking on Clerk Tisha. Alrighty, so here comes Michino, and Michino, level 24, yeah, we, we probably, yeah, we probably need to heal our Pokemon, but look at that, we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna put to sleep right here, holy crud, okay, we need to train up our Pokemon, we really do, and, well, let's go right ahead and, let's see, who do I switch it to, you know what, let's go to Ace and speed this up just a little bit, mainly because Ace is a, is a bit of a tank, a little bit of a, Power or powerful Pokemon and well look at that very physical Pokemon. So here comes a return and there's that Swift BAM and look at that Ace grows to level 21 We are happy and yes, she has lost. Okay. Oh That was over in an instant. Sorry. It's I'm not very good driven was it have you ever ridden the Ferris wheel? The view is very really really pretty, but it's a little odd two people have to ride one ride in one car um Taking, uh, talking about makes me want to ride it again. Hey, come ride with me. Okay. So, look at that, guys. We are in the Ferris wheel, looking all good and all that stuff. The last time we were here, we were with N. The town doesn't change, but I do, I guess. Huh. It's a pretty nice view. Very, very nice view. Hey, <laughs> my baby's kicking. Maybe it's enjoying the view, too. Wait a minute. Are you pregnant? Wait, shouldn't women... Uh, wait. I'm so confused right now. I really am. <laughs> My little one is sure moving. Must be having fun. Really? Okay, so it's having fun. And <laughs> that was a lot of fun. I might not look like it, but I am a mom. Well, I should say a mom soon. Recently, the doctor has been telling me to take it easy, and I'm a little stressed out. But today, I managed to relax enough for two. Thanks, Draven. I hope we meet. We can meet again sometime. Okay, so that, that that's pretty cool right there. And well, this is a shiny roller coaster, former Nimbasa City gym. So let's go right in here and take a look what uh, what we can actually find. And the red roller coaster is the first step to get into the car. Next step is the platform, and there you change. Okay, so let's see. Oh wow, we have to defeat uh, trainers too. So. Look at that, we're gonna have to actually like, you know, come inside the roller coaster, and as you can see, there are people around here. So yeah, I think we will be speeding it up just a little bit, but if you guys remember from Pokemon Black, we will be uh, taking on some trainers right here, and so we're changing the panel right here, and come on, come on, come on, there we go, whew, it's, li it's literally like a race just to get to here. Okay, so let's go right here and see if we can actually battle this individual faster, faster. A speed boost makes you feel great. Okay, and click that one. And now we're going right here. And we're just going to be waiting for the next roller coaster. And uh, it's going to take a while. Huh. Where is the... Oh, there it is. <laughs> and just like that, we're going to get attacked by a Pokemon trainer. I'm going to overwhelm you with the speed I've learned riding the roller coaster. Hmm. Now, if you guys don't remember, electric type Pokemon do love their speed. So here we go, taking on Rich Boy Roland, and he's gonna be coming out with a uh, Blitzel right here. All right, so we probably chose the wrong Pokemon right here, so we're gonna have to go straight to another one. 
let's go straight to Desert Storm, and I completely forgot about uh, that. Ha! <laughs> wow, my Pokemon asleep still gets attacked, so here comes Desert Storm. It's gonna be slow, but it should be able to take on this Pokemon with uh, any kind of uh, effect or anything like that. So here comes the Pursuit Attack. Here comes the Bulldoze. And just like that, Blitzel has been defeated. Look at that, okay. Rich boy Roland, you have been defeated, homeboy. Now give me my monies. Your way of battling, it's elegant. You've got style. Alrighty. And again, we're gonna have to wait on a roller coaster. Oh, you douchebag. Okay, so let's go ahead and switch this out. And let's go in here. It's it's fairly typical that we actually like the roller coaster gets to us as we're switching and whoa, holy bejeebus, look at that. Whoa! Okay, so that right there was a pretty fun ride, and I'm assuming we're going to get another Pokemon trainer to attack us right here, so... Let us wait. Where is you? Come on. Where is you? There it is, and uh, just like that. We're getting attacked again by another Pokemon trainer. And yes, we are nearing the finale. Okay, so... Yes, we're going to get attacked by another Pokemon trainer. So, let's see what we got. Colette wants the battle, and she's going to be coming out with a Flaffy. And, well, here comes Desert Storm. Desert Storm is looking like a tank right now, but a, there is one little bit of a disadvantage. And that is that Desert Storm does have uh, some low speed. Can't wait to evolve it. And just like that, Flaffy has been defeated. One attack. Okay, so, yes, maybe we shouldn't pro... I don't even know if we, we, we should level up our Pokemon because, you know, Desert Storm is looking pretty good right now. Okay, so let's go right ahead and wow. Holy bejeebus. Okay. So, let's see. This is normally where, where you would find the gym leader, but who is this? Oh my. Did you come here looking for the gym leader? I'm sorry. You just missed her. She just left for the gym. Take this for making it all the way here. And we get ourselves a paralysis heal. So, I hear the gym leader likes the thrill of the roller coaster. Okay, well, never mind. So, that is that. You complete this whole thing right here, guys. You'll be able to, I guess, uh, get to the gym leader in the next episode. So, let's get the heck out of here and look at that. Bam. I'm back, baby. Okay. So, that right there is the end of that. I guess we've, uh... <laughs> I guess we got some work to do off screen, guys, because, yeah, a lot of these trainers and their Pokemon, very, very strong. Cannot wait to start battling them. So, thank you guys again for watching. I will see you guys in the next episode as we take on Elisa, the Nimbasa City Gym Leader. See you guys.